But the story behind a huge tent smack dab in the middle of a busy freeway interchange. And we have just learned that the city of San Francisco is already moving homeless people into it. You can see it clearly here. The tent is literally nestled in the land inside the on-ramp from South Venice onto Highway 101 in San Francisco. This is the first time a permanent shelter will be opened on Caltrans property. KPIX 5 reporter Julie Watt shows us the city hopes homeless will leave the streets for this freeway shelter. Julie? Yeah, you know, if you live in San Francisco or you commute in and out of the city, you've likely seen the tents and the homeless folks lined up underneath the 101 freeway here at South Venice. You also have likely seen what used to be a Caltrans parking lot here inside the Cloverleaf on ramp to 80 and 101 at South Venice. Well, now what used to house Caltrans vehicles is now housing homeless folks as the city's first permanent homeless navigation center on Caltrans property. For years, the city's been trying to keep the homeless off its property. You may remember when Public Works cleared out a homeless encampment here and installed boulders to prevent folks from coming back. Well, now a twist. The city is building its own homeless shelters on state property, Caltrans property to be exact, thanks to legislation passed by San Francisco Assembly member Phil Ting. So the first homeless navigation centers oh, on Caltrans property open tomorrow. We're going to talk about that uh, tomorrow. I just have a quick question for you. So your legislation uh, is responsible for this. Like, so the, the first homeless navigation yes, centers. We're, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. The assembly member didn't want to talk about the project today. Neither would the mayor's office or Caltrans. But it was Ting's legislation that made the shelters possible, authorizing the state to lease Caltrans property to the city for $1 per month for the purposes of an emergency shelter or feeding program. They're called navigation centers, serving as low barrier shelters that welcome homeless people who might be turned away from other shelters due to their belongings, their partners, or their pets. The centers offer intensive counseling for drugs or mental illness and ultimately are intended to help folks find permanent housing. There are at least four temporary navigation centers, but this is the first of at least two permanent facilities slated to open this summer on Caltrans property. According to city data, the existing temporary navigation centers have already served over 1,150 homeless people since 2015, and 72% left the shelters for housing. Folks who work or visit local businesses in the area of this South Venice shelter are optimistic. I know that they're spending a lot of money and building a nice uh, facility over there, which should help. I mean, the area, you know what the area is, we're in mission. Um, it'll get some people off the streets. I think it's great. I think, you know, there's something has to be done. Now, we're told there are already folks living here at this facility. They were moved from one of the temporary facilities elsewhere on Van Ness. We've actually seen folks coming and going all afternoon. We're told at full capacity, Liz, they can house up to 126 people here. Wow. Now, Julie, aside from this unusual location of this shelter, how is this facility different from other navigation centers around the city? So the other existing ones, those were actually temporary. This is one of the first permanent facilities. Uh, and again, this one is on Caltrans property, mm -hmm. part of that legislation that was passed last year, allowing the city to rent the space for a dollar a month. All right, Julie Watts live for us this evening. Thank you, Julie.